Valley of the Flying Unicorns. Good morning, girls. Today's lesson will be a very special one, which I'm sure will intrigue many of you. You will learn how to make a perfect hair and makeup potion. <laughs> Yay! I adore cosmetic potions. Fine. Now, for the demonstration, I'll need an assistant. Oh, me! Me! Choose me! I'm the one for the job! <clears throat> Thank you, Stella. But these <laughs> potions are very delicate. They require maximum concentration and minimum excitement. Perhaps I'd better choose... Bloom. You, I can trust. Hmm. Hey, Bloom. Are you offline? Huh? You have to go to the front. Uh... Hmm. Here I am, Professor Palladium. You want me to review yesterday's lesson in front of the class? No, Bloom. We're preparing a perfect hair and makeup potion. You'll need five drops of liquid beauty, three petals of a young lily, and a teaspoon of lunar essence. Very good. Now, Bloom, close your eyes and concentrate. Visualize the final effect. And if you do so perfectly, the result should be... <laughs> Definitely not that. I'm so sorry, Professor. I must have messed up some ingredients. I don't know if my excitement was the problem here. <laughs> Can you tell us what's bothering you, Blue? You've been pretty distracted lately. Head in the clouds level stuff. You aren't still thinking about Sky, are you? <sighs> yes, I am. He hasn't answered a single call or emojix in days now. But the specialist told you he's on a top secret mission, didn't they? That's just it, Flora. I keep asking myself if he's okay or if he's in danger. I just can't stop thinking about it and... Wait a second. So when we were in class... Yeah, <laughs> I was worrying about Skye getting caught by Heraklion's royal condors. This explains the nest on Professor Palladium's head. <laughs> <laughs> so he's either in trouble and not able to message me, or he's choosing not to? Bloom, don't think about it. I'm sure Sky will be back soon and... Ah, make way! <gasps> <laughs> what are you doing here? Did something happen on Lumenia? Oh no, I just came to see you. I've missed you girls so much. We missed you too, Twinkly. Winks, the third prime star, waits on Monoceros, not far. Look beyond the clouds and higher, you'll find the trust you desire. <sighs> Sorry to cut your visit short, Twinkly, but we gotta leave for Monoceros right away. So, where is this Monoceros anyway? Let me come with you! Oh, they're so beautiful! Their coat is so soft and silky! Uh, what is she talking about? I'm talking about unicorns, of course! Unicorns? The star of Monoceros is home to winged unicorns! See, you can't go alone! You absolutely need a guide, like me! Okay, Twinkly, you win. Lead us to Monoceros! <laughs> Well, well. I trust you were listening, Trix. 
The next Prime Star is on Monoceros. You must leave immediately. Ugh! This whole chasing the Winks all over the Magic Universe deal is getting annoying! The Starcase riddle was about trust. Well, I trust myself, and I work better on my own. Hey, Stormy! Finding one little star doesn't make you the strongest witch in the Magic Universe. Why not? We're ready to go, Valtor. This time, the Prime Star won't escape me. <laughs> won't escape you, Icy? I wouldn't be so sure about that, since I'm gonna get it! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I seem to recall that I'm the only one who's gotten a star so far. You got lucky. Silence! I don't care who retrieves the Prime Star, I just want it. It'll be a fine addition to my collection. that winged unicorns don't trust strangers. Maybe we should prepare some kind of speech for them. Oh, come on, relax, Tecna. They're just sweet little magic horses. I'm sure we'll make friends in no time. I hope you're right, girls. No, I don't think that's an option. <laughs> we need to get past the floating rocks if we're going to reach the lost locket of Arachleon. <laughs> we are gonna find it here, right? Right, Diaspro? Huh? Uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, Sky, of course. But first, huh? Good thing you were here, Sky. I can't imagine what would happen if I were alone among such fierce creatures. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, very fierce. I wonder where the medallion could be. Are you sure we're in the right place, Diaspro? Totally. My map says the medallion should be on one of the floating rocks. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we split up. We'll find it faster. Uh, no, no, no. That's no good. Anything could happen. And I'm so frightened. Uh... Huh? Maybe we could ask them? You, strangers, what are you doing here? Don't you know the rocks are just for the unicorns and their friends? Sorry, we had no idea. But maybe you can help us. We're looking for a medallion and... We are on a special mission for the King of Oracleon. We can go where we please. Okay, in that case... Lumens, attack! Huh? Huh? Ah! 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 Hey, how dare you! Ah! Ah! This is not a real map. It's a fake. Uh, um, 
Uh, I... I can explain. Well, actually, I, I can tell you. The truth, please. Oh, all right. I admit it. There is no map. I made it up to keep our mission going as long as possible. I can't believe it. You've been dragging me around the magic universe for days. <sighs> we would have found the medallion ages ago if you hadn't wasted so much time. <clears throat> huh? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. The medallion, did you make that up too? Um, no, not made up exactly. Uh, um, more invented. Okay. I think she deserves to be punished. Can we handle this? Uh... <sighs> no thanks, Lumens. We'll just go back home. Hmm. Uh, my plan has failed! And it's all your fault! Hmm? Huh? Techna, they don't trust us. Come on, girls. We still have to find the Prime Star. Okay, but where do we start? The star case wasn't exactly clear. It just said, look beyond the clouds. <gasps> Who is that? More uninvited guests! Are they all coming today? They've already been bothering the unicorns. Come on, let's chase them off! <sighs> Why is everyone so rude in this place? <sighs> Stop! And who are you? Looks like a Lumen from Lumenia. My name is Twinkly, and these are my friends, the Winks. <laughs> They're here to find something very important. They have to save the Wishing Star. Okay, we can trust you. <laughs> My name is Asteria, and I'm the leader of the Monoceros Lumens tribe. Tell us how we can help. Any friends of the stars are friends of ours. <laughs> we have to recover one of the prime stars. All we know is that it's on Monoceros, somewhere beyond the clouds. Hmm? It's beyond the floating rocks. The stars be on the floating rocks for sure. Maybe in the horn. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's transform and go get it. It's not that simple. Only winged unicorns can fly over floating rocks. A magical barrier blocks anyone else. Oh no. Then we're totally out of luck. The winged unicorns hate us. Mm-mm. They don't hate you. They just don't trust you. Look. Unicorns are kind creatures, but they don't take commands. They choose who can ride them. Um, thanks, but I give up. 
I'm good with my wings. I don't need any other way to get around. Whoa! Stop it, Stella. We have a mission, remember? It will be easier than you think. You'll see. You just have to walk slowly through them, and the unicorns will choose you. Good. That's it. Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> oh, don't worry, little friend. Everything's fine. Now be still. Let it come to you. Now that is what I was waiting for. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> this is not my thing. Uh... Hey, that's my skirt. You can't eat that. <laughs> I think you just found a new friend, Stella. Uh, <laughs> that's not funny at all. Without riding unicorns? <laughs> <laughs> well, now that the unicorns have chosen you and a magical bond has formed, you may ride them. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready. Thanks. You're so kind. Ha! Can you please stop for a second? Unicorns will take you wherever you want, even beyond the floating rocks. Of course, if he allows you to pass. He? Who is this he? Huh? <laughs> Good luck, Winks! Bye-bye! I'll be waiting here! Oh! <laughs> oh, slow down! You're not afraid of... Ah! Ah! Oh, slow down! Ah! <laughs> well, it's no contest. Our Stella is a natural at riding unicorns. going to do about the mysterious he Asteria mentioned. I can't believe you've been lying to me all this time. You took advantage of the argument I had with my mm. father. <sighs> you knew I wouldn't check with him about the mission, didn't you? Oh, come on! Why don't you lay off? Was it 
really so terrible to take a tour of the magic universe in my company? Of course it was terrible! I haven't been home in days, and I haven't seen Bloom! Bloom? Bloom? Always Bloom! If she really cared about you, she'd understand it was an important mission and... An important mission that didn't exist. Shoot is gone. No, 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 no. Bloom discovers that Sky is on a mission with Diaspero and quarrels with him. Anyway, they will have to get together and make up if they want to recover the star before the tricks. The Winx and Sky thus leave for Horn Tower, where the Prime Star should be hiding. 